have you seen there's like a re revivalist flat earth movement going on? They just had, I think, their second national conference in Denver <laughs> this year. And uh, these people are for real. They are not messing around. They really believe the earth is flat and that we're not moving, but it's actually the sun, moon, and stars that are actually moving around us. It's like we're a big flat dinner plate and you have the heavens, almost like if you've seen those like glass domes you put over a cake to keep the flies and stuff off of it. That's how they view the sun, moon, and stars are in this watery canopy above us. And that's what's turning and spinning, giving us the seasons and constellations night and day. But we're standing still on a flat earth so at the center never, of the universe. Actually, yeah, David? So have they never actually gotten in an aircraft and, and flew above the earth? Well, but see, even in an aircraft, you can't see the curvature of the earth. Unless yeah, I believe you yeah, have to be at 60,000 feet to begin to see the curvature. And we could double check that too. That would be easy to, to search. But they're also conspiracy theorists, right? So any sort of NASA or space or satellite photos, they just chalk off as Space. That's the government trying to keep us deceived and blinded and, and all that good stuff. But even then, though, it, it's, I mean, even at 14,000 feet, I, I mean, you can kind of see a uh, curvature a little bit, I mean, at least from, from my perspective. Yeah, but it's, it's just a distortion. You're not actually seeing it that low. Well, I, I mean, I, I feel the same way, David. I've been yeah. on mountain peaks and stuff, and I'm like, oh, wow, look at the curvature. And... But no, if you do the research, it, you can't see it from that low an elevation. Um, I know with like fish eye cameras, you can see it more, but man, again, it's this. Sure, thing. but that's the lens distorting the view. Yeah. It's like I've I mean, seen people know, take like, pictures from the top of Everest with the fish eye lens, and it just looks like you can see the whole curvature of the earth. But that's just the lens. That's not yeah. what you're seeing from the top of Everest. Even, the even then, though, it's like, it doesn't make any sense to me because if it was uh, a flat earth, it'd be like a table. And then once you get to the end, you just fall off. Well, so that's, that's because awesome. there's an ice wall, David, at the end, a hundred foot ice wall that surrounds the, the flat plate. And that's Antarctica. And if you've seen pictures of Antarctica from the sea, it's like this hundred foot wall of ice just going up. And if you sailed around it, See, from a, a globalist perspective, you'd be sailing around Antarctica. From a flat Earth perspective, Antarctica is actually ringing the plate. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, it's frightening. I know their arguments. But part of why I wanted to learn their arguments is because I did see the parallels between that and young Earth creationism, which both theories fly in the face of modern science. And when you find devotees, if you give them their presuppositions, it's very difficult to argue against a flat earth, just from what you can observe from ground level. The, the only arguments I've got so far that seem to work would be you, even with a pair of binoculars, you can look at the moon and you can see craters on the moon because most of these flat earthers are um, getting this from the Bible. I mean, I thought I took the Bible literally, historically. These people make me look like an allegorist because if the Bible says a greater light to rule the day and a lesser light to new, rule the night, they actually believe the moon is generating its own light. It, it's not reflecting the light of the sun. It's its own light source. But if that was true, the, the shadows should not be in the craters of the moon if the light was coming out of the moon. But if it's being hit by the sun, you're going to be having sun cast shadows on the moon. So that's one thing you can point out to a flat earther. Um, Which, if the uh, the moon was uh, its own light, um, I think that was just a mistranslation uh, of the Bible. Well, it's not a mistranslation. It could just be a figure of speech. Yeah, that that's what I meant. Yeah. Well, right. And there's other things too, like it talks about the four corners of the earth, or it talks about the pillars of the earth. These people actually believe it's a square with like a circular plate in the middle 
and then you have pillars like think greco-roman pillars holding it up now what the pillars are on i guess they're on top of the elephants right that are on top of the turtle that are, is flying mm -hmm. through space or whatever but it's just amazing to me that this is actually a revivalist theory and um i'm not even sure why i'm talking about this but i think it's fun so